the objective is to truly be world class. And we've achieved that, I think, in numerous areas. How it translates into the magazine is, on the business side, uh, the spring issue is our strongest yet. Um, we have a, a whole group of new advertisers that have waited you know, a couple of years to check that we really have uh, the wherewithal to stick the course. Um, so creatively, the product that they're expecting has to continually evolve. I have to believe that this will be our strongest issue to date. Look at this. It's Couture Week in Paris, and Michael and I have flown over to see the latest collections. Along with watching the shows, we'll also be shooting a cover with French actress Anna Muglalis for the spring issue of FQ. Couture Week is always wild, but with the added pressure of the cover shoot, it promises to be insane. This is my bike. You see, we're on a budget. It was a little enigmatic, because Michael and I desperately wanted to shoot uh, Chanel for our cover this time around. We had never put Chanel on the cover of FQ before. We may see something come down the runway. No, no, we can't. We, they won't let the, us any. No, the agreement is to uh, do ready to wear. And besides, to, to turn it around that quickly, we're yeah, talking about shooting sure. the day of the show. Right. Hey, you, yeah, take that dress off. We're taking it over to the Place Vendôme. We uh, got access to the Chanel showroom, and we were so excited to go in there and choose the goodies. You know, wow, what a treasure trove. Unfortunately, there wasn't really that much to choose from, because at this time of year, everybody is shooting for the upcoming spring edition. So all these clothes have been pulled by all kinds of stylists, and it was slim pickings. There's nothing. No, nothing. Everything, everywhere. <laughs> we did manage to choose about four different outfits because we knew we wanted two different shots of Adam Muglalis, one for the cover and one uh, for the inside. Obviously, so much stuff is being lent out. This right. is the worst time to shoot spring because everyone's shooting spring and all that funky, edgy, stuff that fun we wanted. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Passez par derrière. Are you good? Check your makeup. I, you know, arrive in Paris and I go to the Dior show and uh, it's it just always such a thrill, especially, you know, going to the polo grounds of the Bois de Boulogne. Such a, an incredible setting, it just elevates you. And to see all those people streaming down that long white walkway across the polo grounds towards that gleaming huge white tent, it's, it's like they're going to Mecca or something. What uh, was it that compelled you to come? Um, I just love Dior and I think they make beautiful clothes and it's a wonderful opportunity. It's nice and it's really fun. <laughs> and everybody goes with such high expectations because, of course, you know, Galliano is the master of theatrics, certainly. And there's always a surprise. And then you go backstage and you just never know what he's going to be up to because his visions are so out there. A girl's having their eyebrows bleached and their hair just, you know, teased and powdered and that ghastly, uh, consumptive uh, look. This is uh, uh, the stable model of diet. Water and cigarettes. And that's all they had, and a great every, every second day. It, it really was a trip. We knew we were in for something special, and with the girls looking that, you know, outrageous, you just know that the clothes are going to be you know, over the top. Dior is, uh, it's spectacular, uh, and, and it's couture at, at its finest. It's really experimental. Um, it's always theatrical, but it's um, completely over the top, and something that you want you'll never see on a, on a red carpet, for example. I mean, he's truly a master creator. Well, I adore John Galliano because he is a true artiste. I, I'm just nuts about him, and we, we have a really nice, cozy kind of relationship, I think, just from you know, having interviewed him over the years. But to see him come out at the very end, he's always dressed up in some outrageous getup. I just thought he looked amazing. Really, really strong sense of theatrics. 
couture must be aspirational. I'm also here to sell the image of the house. And as you know, we work in this pyramidical way where what you saw uh, this afternoon was the rawest, purest elixir of the parfum. And as you know, that will have a great, great influence on all the other products that I'm involved with, the ready to wear, the accessories. Um, it's, it's important and it's alive. Lalas at uh, the Chanel uh, Salon. We had arranged to meet Anna and accompany her to the Chanel Couture Show before our cover shoot that afternoon. Anna Muglalas is a young, iconic actress in France and is the new face for the Allure Sensual perfume. She's also the muse of Karl Lagerfeld at the House of Chanel. When did you first uh, really start working with the house, Anna? How long has it been um, That was four years ago. I met uh, with Karl Lagerfeld. And I start, I mean, I signed a, a contract in which uh, they asked me to embody the spirit of the house. That was three years ago. What you're going to wear to the show today? Yes. You picked it out yourself? Yes. Mm. Okay. Well, you'll have to surprise us. So go get changed. We'll see you in a okay. few minutes. Thanks, Anna. It should be exciting. She made her for the cup. She seems very nice. Cute. Yeah. As we waited, Michael and I went over our plans for this afternoon's cover shoot. From young and hip to sophisticated and stylish, Anna was ready to go. Pretty fabulous. Oh, God. <laughs> the whole business of modeling, how does that compare to acting? When I entered the house three years ago, I've been asked to embody the spirit of the house. That could be some, some kind of part. And Carl uh, gave me something very precious because he's not looking for pretty. It's just um, calling for, for your deep personality. I chose Chanel as much as it chose me, wow. like, for real. Are we here? Is it time to exit the car? Oh, the, the press are waiting. You see those cameras there? With the Chanel show about to start and our cover shoot nearly an hour away, I must admit it was hard for Michael and me to concentrate on the upcoming spectacle. So much is riding on the cover. Cover stories.